and welcome to my Far Out Friday fantastic special. Um, so we are recording with my Mini DV uh, Sony Handycam HC20. Um, got you on a tripod. I've got stuff on the table. Now, let's just make it all come together. So today, we are going to be, let's uh, point that down. So today, we are going to be looking at this and bringing this back to life. Okay, so this is a computer I just got not too long ago. This is a Power Mac or Power PC, I don't know. It's a Power Macintosh G3 is what it says. It's in the same case as the uh, 1994 computer I have. This one is from 98 and it has a lot of broken pieces of plastic. The power buttons broke, you know, stuff like that. My uh, biggest thing with it is I have one of these that's running a uh, G3, you know, so I already have something like this, but I don't have tower. And this works, the tower doesn't. So let's make the tower work. From what I've seen, this and the tower have the same motherboard. So worst comes to worst, we will be swapping motherboards. But if it's, uh, you know, as simple as I expect, we're just going to be swapping components from this into that. So let's hope this works. Uh, so as you can see here, this card here is the uh, Apple Video um, Ingest. So it takes in analog video and outputs analog video. Plus it has a stereo port and a uh, microphone port. It's a nice uh, card. All right. So we also have three sticks of RAM in here. We have... Mm, doesn't say. Uh, this one is 128 megabytes. That one's 128. And I'm going to guess this one's either 512 or uh, 256. But it doesn't say. Uh, we also have <clears throat> our ROM. And this little thing. I'm still not terribly sure of what the hell it is, but I might as well take it out. It looks like a power distribution board. Um, we went over this in the tower video. Uh, what else? So I did put a new battery in this, so let's just go ahead and take that out. Uh, we need to take out the IDE drive. One thing I do like is this is IDE and not SCSI. So that is quite. Oh, oh my god, that thing is in there. Ow, it hurts. Come on, you bastard. There we go. And there we go. IDE drive. This is 3.6. No, it's a 6 gig. 6.5 gigabyte. Wow. Uh, we'll leave all the cables. We do need a screwdriver, so hold on. Okay, got screwdriver. So, this heat sink is grounded, amusingly enough. So we got to take out the screw holding down the heat sink. Oh, now we got to take the heat sink off. There we 
go. And there's the heat sink. And lift out the CPU. There we go. That is our CPU. Woo! Oh yeah. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And it is a PGA uh, CPU. Okay. As it sits, broke another thing. Damn it! Good thing I'm getting rid of this one. So as it sits, there's still a zip drive floppy and a... Yep, you can't see shit. Zip drive <laughs> floppy and a CD drive. But I'm going to forego those because this already has a, C a DVD drive and other things. So well, if I need anything out of that, I'll take it later. Okay, we got the desktop back in front of us. So, first off, I need to pull up the green levers and open it up. Okay, you can't see shit. Uh, let's see. Bring in. Okay, so as you can see, there's next to nothing in here. There is this little board. So I'm kind of curious if this is the exact same or if this is slightly different. Uh, nope, they're the same. So we'll just leave this one in there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and slap the RAM in. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that this uh, main board is good because pretty much everything, like literally every component on this board is the same as that other computer. So if this isn't good, it's not a big deal. But, you know, I would hope it is. So let's go ahead and put the CPU in, just so I don't damage it in any way. CPU's in. Okay. Shit. Make sure this is the right screw. It's not, of course it's not. Hold on while I find the correct screw. Okay, I found the correct screw. I'm just going to go ahead and slap some MX4 on here. Before putting down the heat sink. And there's our heat sink. There's our retention bracket. So just set that down and loop that over, press that down, and there we go. CPU and heat sink are one. So we'll go ahead and put our grounding. Lock down. All right. Go ahead and put our video card in now. Uh, there's that. And a couple of screws to put in it.
Okay, one more screw. I really hope the hard drive works in this because <laughs> all I've ever heard it do is spin up. I've never actually had it boot. So, there we go. Parts are swapped. So, let's go ahead and shut this back up. And I'll go grab a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and some power cables. All right. Oh, shit. Thought I was done. I'm not. Sorry. Try to plug in the <laughs> keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Okay. Power. Power. We have a bong. Holy shit. What the fuck? I think the uh, video card might be a little borked on this uh, motherboard. <laughs> that giant square moving? That's the mouse. Okay. okay, I think it's time to swap motherboard. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, the computer pissed off or the hard drive. Can you hear it? Oh, come on. Now you're not going to do it? Alright, whatever. Uh... I'm going to swap a main board. I'll be back. Okay. So, I guess the main thing I'm going to do is take the main board out, take that one out, the one over there, and put it in this, and then swap all the parts back over. I'm not going to bore you with it. Take screws out, take screws out, done. Okay, I want to show you real fast how identical these boards are. That's the old board. That's the new board. And if we look down here, uh, can you see it? Apple Computer Inc. 820991B9798. And then, same thing. 820 uh, 0991B so this is identical other than this one is a Q2 NI 2837 this one is a Q1 NI 2829 so yeah not a lot of difference which is awesome Okay, so now it's time to kind of slap it back together for a few seconds and power it back on. Okay, power and well plugged everything back in. Oh no, shit, no I didn't. Damn it, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. What? 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So, I just did a hurry up and swap um, thing. And turns out, I think the power supplies are different, wiring wise. Um, the power supply in the tower is small, but it produces more power than the one in the desktop that is larger. But I think the cables themselves are wired differently. So I guess I'll uh, look into that. <laughs> okay, update. The power supplies are different. What? They're the exact same motherboard. Why the fuck would Apple change the power supply? <laughs> uh, so if I put the tower board into the desktop, the system just powers on. No power button works, no nothing, no peripherals work. It just turns on. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Alright. So, I've given up for now. Um, since I had a working computer, I'm uh, basically just going to throw this one back together. We'll count this as a failed video, but might as well finish it up and, you know, see it work. Damn it. Okay. So I was just on the last process of sticking all the plugs in and all that happy horse shit. If you can't tell, I'm a little perturbed. I mean, come on. Why would they change the fucking power supplies across the same motherboard? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it has the same serial number. It has... Oh, come on. The, uh... Basically, it's the same everything. But... The fucking... One thing is slightly different, and I don't know what it is. And, you know, good luck trying to find fucking information on a computer from 1998 nowadays. So, let's just go ahead and lock that down. And uh, there's the top. Wait, I don't need the top, dumbass. I need plugs. Give me all the plugs. Okay, and oh, come on. There we go. Gotta screw that in some. Okay, monitor. Uh, monitor, power plug to the base. Okay, monitor, monitor. Now we need a keyboard and a mouse. And there's that. Okay, power. Corn tacked. Yay. And there we go. What we haven't been able to see <laughs> this entire time. Damn it.
Like, I know this one works. But I don't, I have a desktop. I want a tower. Stupid thing. Sorry for the rolling. I can't really do much about that. Especially on this uh, 2004 gem here. And if you're wondering, I haven't cleaned this out yet. So it's loading like 9,000 extensions. Uh, literally brought it home from the getting spot and was wanting to fix that one up. But I can't because fucking Apple. Grr! Oh my god. They had so many stupid extensions. Like, I'm ex I, I want that extension right there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because that's my uh, video card. Yeah. I know. I pulled the battery. I know. So if... Maybe in 10 years. There it goes. So let's pull up System Profiler. Let's just... So this is running OS 904. And it's a 300 megahertz G3. Um, attributes, it has the Apple Audio Video DVD card. So I'll probably put the DVD ROM in this and kind of forget about the tower for right now we have uh, 320 gig megabytes of uh, RAM uh, our display adapter is a uh, Rage Pro and a hundred and eighty hundred and eighty seven extensions are you freaking kidding uh control panel monitor and that we are at six six forty by four eighty I was hoping to bring it down some for you but because that tends to help the roll but yeah anyways so many damn extensions. Alright, well. I'm sorry for the uh, failed experiment video thing. Come on, stay there. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I mean, I do have a working computer out of it. Uh, I mean, uh, the the Apple Video DVD board come out of the tower originally, uh, so I guess I'll swap out the DVD drive and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a uh, retro conversion out of that tower. I don't know. Irritated! Damn it! Anyways. Bye!